Welcome to Weekend 101, your weekly wrap-up of the news that for once isn't about the EFF. And we begin on a somber note. If you're a right-winger living in Aranya, that is. The infamous Burmach trial has finally ended. We are safe. At least 20 men were convicted of high treason last year, while 5 were found guilty of culpable homicide and conspiracy to commit murder. This week they were sentenced to jail terms ranging from 5 to 20 years. The trial has gone on for so long that most of us have forgotten that these men tried to incite civil war in South Africa. And we've also forgotten that this trial is said to have cost us 30 million rand. 30 million! For a bunch of men who wanted to drive black people into the sea, when they could have just moved to Cape Town. I decree that from now on, all royalties from Steve Hoffman albums should go towards recouping these costs. Moving on to Ria Piecha. She's our top cop, in case you didn't know, and she's had a week from hell. The Independent Police Investigative Directorate will probe Piecha for defeating the ends of justice. The allegations surround claims that Piecha tipped off the Western Cape Police Commissioner about the investigations into him. Well now, isn't that something? Just over a year ago, she was President Zuma's darling as she assumed the, the position. Now, if you didn't believe that the National Police Commissioner gig was a giant hospital pass, maybe you'll believe it now. And finally, members of the Cape Town public went on a giant shopping spree as the Edgar's Red Hanger sale was declared free-for-all in the CBD. Kidding. It was actually members of the ANC who were trying yet again to make the Western Cape ungovernable. In reality, what they achieved was giving people in Cape Town a day off. Spare a thought, though, for the poor vendors who were evaded. Seriously, though, the ANC was marching against lack of service delivery in the province. Ironic much? And that's your Weekend 101. Until next week, shave.